So you join me at the local bar to talk about a topic that I've seen asked and talked about so much. And that is, should I buy Kingdom Come Deliverance? Now this is for people who do want to buy the game but aren't sure if there are any issues that might stop them from doing that. And I've already done my own review of this game and that is up on my channel if you want to go check it out. I personally adore this game but I will admit there are issues and these are things that are already being fixed at least yesterday there was a hot fix that fixed quite a few missions which was great if you're buying this game on console then you should be a little bit better off uh, because the game should run generally more stable with pc it's a little bit harder to put a gauge on just because everyone has a different pc everyone has different specs it's not something that you can simply go oh yes it will definitely run on that in my personal experience i'm running a medium to high computer um and i suffer from quite bad frame rates when i enter big towns or especially when i load in a new area when i'm on my horse riding at great speed it does take a while stuff pops in I've even seen some of the villagers in T-pose, which I thought was quite funny. Um, and yeah, those can get on my nerves and make me unimmersed, I suppose. But what other game gives you the opportunity to live out your life in the 15th century? Um, not many. <laughs> not many. And personally, I'm slightly biased just because I absolutely adore it. And... I'm obviously going to say, buy this game. Uh, horse riding at the moment seems to work okay. There are glitches where your horse will jump over a fence. Actually, let's call Pebbles over here a second. Also, that guy then, he had his feet up in the air. I don't know what was going on there. That was a bit weird. Um, so let's call Pebbles over a second. I'll see if I can show you this. Oh my god, that's so crazy. That guy just went and got... There's no water in there. <laughs> There's a glitch right there. Um, but that guy just got water from the local river. That's amazing. This keeps happening. I'm playing the game and these random little things happen that make me go, wow. Okay, I cannot talk about should you buy this game and be distracted by how good the game is. Is this guy, is he fishing? I've never seen that. I, okay, sorry. Yeah, anyway, back back to this. This is what this game does. It distracts you. It, it it pulls your attention away and it goes, Hey, look, I'm better than pretty much every game ever created. So, performance can be fixed. Definitely, if you're not buying this because of performance, then fair enough. Wait. I, I Actually, I recommend that. I recommend waiting with this game. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you're interested in this game, even in the slightest, you will love it. That's all I'm going to say. I, I think that if you are definitely on the fence and you don't have a lot of money and you are thinking, should I buy this now or should I wait a while? I, I think you should wait. I mean, you don't want to waste your money on a game that you can't play properly and then refund it and never look at it again. I think that you should w save that time and basically think, right, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait. I'm going to wait for more patches, more updates to come to the game. I, being safe is always a good thing. I'm not going to put you down on that at all and I think that's a completely smart thing to do. The stuff that I've experienced that is kind of unimmersed me is very minor. It's not something that is too big an issue so I think performance definitely is the biggest issue here. Um, in terms of bugs and stuff that stuff can be overlooked. If you've ever played Bethesda game let's say they have bugs out the wazoo. You know, they are ridiculously buggy, but people still love them. And I will say that Fallout New Vegas is one of my favourite games ever made. And that game is terrible in some aspects in terms of the bugs that it has. If you're thinking of buying this and you're waiting because of performance, good on you. I think that that's the smart thing to do. I think you should wait. But should you still buy this game afterwards? Yes, definitely buy this game afterwards. I, I don't. You should have this on your wish list. You should be keeping an eye on it. That? that guy was fixing this fence. I've not. What, what's he looking around for? Does he not like me being in here? Hello. What are you doing here? Are you after some? I just thought it was quite interesting what you were doing. That's all. It's a very very nice fence you built there, buddy. Yeah, it's very good. Anyway, I'm gonna be off now, so I'll. Uh, Anything else? No, no, that's it. Thank you. But thank you. It's the world building. I think that's what's most fascinating about this. It's the world building. And just the little things that add 
the realism and immerse you that I just love absolutely so much. Anyway, this has been a very random video. I came into this hoping to give you a straight answer and I think that I have. I think that if you are waiting for performance, wait. Definitely wait for the patches to come or wait for mods to fix that. Bugs, if you're worried about bugs in this game, don't. Honestly, they aren't that bad and the bugs that I've experienced haven't taken me out of the game experience completely and they haven't ruined my game save or anything so that shouldn't be a worry to you. I think the game save feature in this game is where a lot of the negativity comes from on the Steam reviews. That's one of the main things I see and you know what if you're on PC you can fix that issue immediately with a mod. It would take you five seconds to download a mod that would fix that and allow you to have normal RPG quick saving. So that should not be an issue to put you off this game. I, I, I think that you need to take a bigger look at it. And if you are a fan of RPGs, proper RPGs, where your decisions really matter and how you kind of present yourself in the game world matters as opposed to a lot of more recent RPGs which are kind of strayed away from that and become a bit more casualized, I suppose. It's a horrible word to say, but I think they have. This game is the game for you. And I really highly recommend it. Anyway, that's my opinion on this. I know it's been a bit random and we've experienced some things. But you know what? I think I've given you the best impression of this game. By these random little things I'm noticing, it allows you to see just how incredibly immersive this game is. Seeing as I haven't seen that and I've been playing this for over 35 hours now and... I haven't seen fishing or that guy getting water from the river. That's amazing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe. Leave a like and also share it with your friends if you haven't already. But until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys.